the tension, right? the fear, the anger, the bravado. The tension is like this, it's like a snowshoe on the snow. Okay. Right? It, it keeps me from sinking in. I can't quite get there. And now it's this kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm going for a technique, trying to flow past. <laughs> because I don't have that, that relaxation, I'm holding this armor. Right? Whereas if I'm loose, <laughs> okay, I get a couple of shots in, yeah. right? and it's just there. And your tension is like a balloon that bounces you away. Okay. So I, if, as long as I am you know, keep that, that softness, I'm more like the needle. And I just you know, pop the balloon. So we do spine waves against the wall like that to, to learn to articulate it. So you touch, your, touch a corner and you touch the tailbone of the corner, then the one vertebrae at a time touches that corner and you work your way up to the head. But most people, when they move their spine, it's, <laughs> it's a block. Yeah. Right, so to be able to move, like you said, each vertebrae, mm -hmm. you know, a quarter of an inch at a time, and you can you do that. It's, it's, a, it's selective relaxation, right? It's not just tension or control. You're selectively you know, releasing one and then and you're working the, the ones on, it's what you do with the, the muscles on either side and you release that one vertebrae, that one spinous to move uh, independently of the other. So you get to actually move them a little bit like this. And most people have no kinesthetic awareness of their thoracic vertebrae. So there aren't a lot of nerve endings there and they have no proprioception of their, of their spine, except that it, the rest of the body hangs from it. Because the tension in the ribs interferes with their awareness of their back, right? Because the, it, they're doing this, right? So to relax the spine and relax the ribs, the ribs hang from the spine like a shirt hanging from a hook. Adam Chan posted a, a comment about how, you know, these guys are trying to act tough, you know, the, the macho guys, they're not the ones you have to worry about. The, the ones that are scary are the guys who are just so happy to be there. <laughs> and just saying, oh, we're going to have a fight. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's a story of Wang Shansai uh, challenging people from all over China to come and fight because he's trying to dis dispel the sick man of Asia image after World War II. When one was a famous Mongolian uh, fighter and wrestler who'd he approach, as they approach each other, he watches a bee fly into Wang Shensai's ear. So this bee just goes like this, and I don't know if it smelled like a flower or what. But, and Wang, and Wang Shensai is coming forward, and the bee goes into his ear, and the Mongolian guy goes oh, like this. And he's, he's quite disturbed by this. And Wang Shensai just goes like that and continues to advance while he picks the bee out of his ear. And the Mongolian guy goes, okay, no, you win, you win. I'm sorry, I, I can't not deal with that. I was more disturbed by that than you were. I lost the fight before we even got there. So that's the idea, these, these guys, yeah, they're, if you have some training, they're not such a big deal. But it's these guys, hey, let's play. We're in a fight, okay. <laughs> Let me get my teeth. <laughs> the tension, right? the fear, the anger, the bravado and stuff is, you know, if you push me like that and I have any of that as you push, right, you're connected to the, you are connected to the ground. And I'm, I'm uprooted and I'm going to be struggling and doing that. <laughs> right? But if you push and I'm relaxed, right, then this is a, your push is a threat to you, mm -hmm. right? not to me. So your aggression defeats you because I'm one with the universe. And anybody who attacks me is their own enemy. So as you push, it's that. Okay? But it's, it, it doesn't work if, if, if you push and I'm like that. It's, I'm still a, a, attacking, but my own tension is like this. It's like a snowshoe on the snow. Okay. Right? It, it keeps me from sinking in. I can't quite get there. And now it's this kind of stuff. And I'm going for a technique, trying to flow past. <laughs> because I don't have the, that relaxation. I'm holding this armor and it keeps things thicker. And you know, it's just, yes, yeah, it's, it's like an umbr umbrella. Right? Whereas if I'm loose, <laughs> okay, I get a couple of shots in, yeah. right? And it's just there. 
and your tension, because it's like a balloon that bounces you away. Okay. So I, if, as long as I'm, you know, keep that, that softness, I'm more like the needle, and I just you know pop the balloon. The needle inside the cotton, and if you are if you're a balloon, and I'm a needle, pop. What happens when you pop the balloon? It goes and flies away that way. Right. So from here, if you relax, there you go. Now as I push, I'm pushing the ground. Mm -hmm. okay. And you just loosen your ribs up, loosen your spine. There you go. Yeah, you can feel it. Like that. And people think, oh, if I'm loose, I won't be integrated or connected. In fact, the opposite is true. There's qualification there. But if, you're, if only part of you is loose, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> but if all of you is loose and relaxed, then it's integrated. If all of you is tense, it's integrated, but it's not adaptive. And you'll end up getting dented on the outside. But if you're loose and relaxed, you're integrated and soft, so I can't dent you. If I push like that, and see how that just goes into the ground? Yep. So it won't matter if I'm punching or pushing, mm -hmm. as long as so if I just push like that, that bounces off the ground because you're loose and connected. Mm -hmm. That there, so you just take that in there. See that? So you can go huh, sink down into the ground. So you go huh, like that. That's it. Now that was a bit of huh, yeah, there at okay, the end. Okay. But you, so you, want to, you want to take this punch yeah. and redirect it to the ground. Before it makes contact, mm -hmm. you want to already have it connected to the ground. So huh, there. See that? Before it makes contact, you have to already have connected it to the ground. Mm -hmm. If you haven't connected it before it makes contact, you're not going to connect it after it makes contact. Because no, I'm going to be going away already. You're too late, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, better duck. You know. <laughs> <laughs> duck, right. You know, it doesn't work. So, so you have to, uh, that's why we say you start by winning. If you don't start by winning, you're losing. <laughs> so, there we go. See, I started by winning. So this engagement, I've already connected you to the ground and neutralized it. So when I come in, now you, there, you caught up. OK, I contradicted everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I wasn't winning. I just thought I was. And that's, that's the other thing. So the, that's, that's what you get to later. You get the other person think that they're winning. So you have the superior alignment, so I'm just going to bounce off you, roll off. But you let me think that you don't. So, oh, but you can't, you still have to have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and it's, a, it's a matter of relative stupidity. You, know, if you want to seem stupid, but I'm stupider. <laughs> so, there. So, I think, oh, there's an opening. Oh, but it's, it's connected there. And the way you do this is by having this extension. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's out here. I think the fight's out there. Mm -hmm. But you've already let go of this and already engaged there. Yep. So, when I go like that, you've already connected it to the ground. Yep. And now, you just slap me in the face. Yeah. So from here, if you're, if you're engaging with your hand, mm -hmm. then I've got you, right? Mm -hmm. That would have been a good strike. There. And then you're, you're, you're playing catch up. Mm -hmm. right? I know you're, I am. You're a beat past. <laughs> so I'm going to be just a little beat ahead of you. But if you are already ahead of me, if you're already pouring into the ground, yeah. then I think I'm fighting the hand. Yeah. But it's, the fight's already gone to there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit the wall. like the. Coyote and Roadrunner when he paints the tunnel on the wall. <laughs> and the Roadrunner goes down the tunnel. And the coyote goes, what? And he goes, oh, slam, right into the wall. All right, so, so I think there's a tunnel. And I go, Hoo! like that. And they go, wait a minute. That was not what I thought it was. Okay? So I think there's a path direct to your face. So I go like this, but you've engaged there. If I have you here, you're trapped because you're fighting distally. Yes. But if you have that proximal engagement, then this hand is already engaged ah, there, like that. So this is a, this is a result of relaxation. Okay. So if I can stay loose, then I can be closer to me than you are. And if you're tense, then I'm closer to you than you are. So where does that leave you? <laughs> <laughs> that's Way some, out on a that, limb. That's some complicated <laughs> geometry. <laughs> you are farther from you and farther from me. Where are you? Right there. Yeah. So. <laughs> Trouble would be the word. I'm sure this all makes sense somehow.